Okay, for today's recipe, we're gonna be making seared prawns with spaghettini and crustacean velouté. We're finishing that off with a dill oil. Now, if you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. I'm Matt Black. I've been a chef for over 20 years, restaurateur and caterer, uh, author, and a recipe vlogger. So the first thing we need to do is to make the dill dressing. Make that in advance the day before to allow the oil to marinate. So in a blender, you're gonna put half a bunch of dill, half a bunch of parsley, the rind of one lemon, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and olive oil. And then switch her on. Now once we've blended it, we're just gonna put it into a bottle. All right, chuck that in the fridge overnight, and we're done for now. Now that we've got the dill oil made, we have to make the crustacean velouté. The first step of that is the crustacean stock. So on the stove here, we've got our prawns, and we're just gonna put in, we've got onions, carrots, celery, garlic, some thyme, bay leaves, some parsley stalks. So all that goes in. Now we add some chicken stock. some tomato paste. And just give it a quick mix around. And two tablespoons of paprika. So now the stock's on, you just have to bring it to the boil, bring it back down to a simmer, and reduce it down. All right, now the stock has been reducing for about an hour. You can see it's down to about the 50% mark. What we need to do now is crush it with the good old potato masher, just to get all those juices out of the shell, and then we're gonna strain it. And what this does is it brings all the flavor out of the prawn heads. And we're left with a really, really sweet consistency. Okay, great. Now that we've got the stock strained, we just need to add it to equal quantities of the stock to the cream. And just reduce that down. Okay, the velouté has just now come to the boil. We've got our pasta water boiling, and I've just got the pan or fry pan on now for uh, the prawns. So we're just gonna chuck the pasta in. For the prawns, we're gonna cook them until golden, turn them over, seal them a bit more, chuck in some butter and some lemon juice, finish them off in the pan. Don't forget to season them. Okay, great, you can see they start going golden now, so let's turn them over. Give them a minute or so on this side. All right, so let's get in some lemon. Wedge your lemon. Some butter. Nice little toss. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting to our final touches now. So far, we should have the cooked prawns already cooked. You've got your dill oil, got the crustacean velouté that's reduced, 
and the pasta is almost done. I'm just about to get the pasta out. Just try the pasta. Perfect. So turn it off. All right. Now we just want to roll the pasta up nice and tight. Okay. Just about a ladle of the, about a ladle of the velouté. Uh, the Two nice big prawns. Oh. Yeah, the dill puree. Again, beautiful.